What's your response to some of the people that thought you were being disrespectful by being on your phone and not being attentive to them? Well, I was on my phone, and yes, that's true. I was following developments with a five-year-old little girl sitting on her dad's lap who just got shot in the head by a drive-by shooting. And if some of the people here gave a good about the victimization of people in this community by crime, I take some of their invective more seriously. The greatest racial disparity in the city of Milwaukee is getting shot and killed. Hello. 80% of my homicide victims every year are African American. 80% of our aggravated assault victims are African American. 80% of our shooting victims who survive their shooting are African American. Now they know all about the last three people that have been killed by the Milwaukee Police Department over the course of the last several years. There's not one of them can name last, one of the last three homicide victims we've had in this city. Now there's room for everybody to participate in fixing this police department and I'm not pretending we're without sin. But this community's at risk all right. And it's not because men and women in blue risk their lives protecting it. It's at risk because we have large numbers of high capacity quality firearms in the hands of remorseless criminals who don't care who they shoot. Now I'm leaving here to go to that scene. And I take it personally, okay? We're going up there and there's a bunch of cops processing a scene of a dead kid. And they're the ones who are going to be out there patrolling and stopping sus suspects that may have guns under the front seat. They're the ones that are going to take the risks of their lives to try to clean this thing up. All right? We're responsible for the things we get wrong and we take action. We've arrested cops, we've fired cops, and so on. But the fact is that the people out here, some of them, who had the most to say, are absolutely MIA when it comes to the true threats facing this community. And it gets a little tiresome. And we start getting yelled at for reading the updates of the kid that gets shot. Yeah, you take it first. But here's something that you said to Greg and I time and time over again. And this, Greg and I had this conversation before we went on there. Yeah, we do need to hold law enforcement accountable yes. yeah. for those bad apples. Yes. yes. But, you know, it's not this or that. It's mm. this and that mm -hmm. as it relates to the level of violence that's being perpetrated within communities yes. by folk from those communities, and nobody ever saw anything. And yep. you, it, it doesn't hit you. And you say this, and when you say this, it brings it to home until it happens to you. Yeah, if it's your child, I'll go to hell in a handbag. Yeah. But if somebody else's child in the community, I'm not getting involved. With yeah. That. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so we can walk and chew gum at the same time. We yeah. need to be still having these conversations. Yeah. Unfortunately, week in and week out, man, and it's sad that we hear of young people being shot and killed week in and week out. And the only thing that we can get marshal up and be up in arms and, and march about is when law enforcement yeah. does. Yeah. And, and, and that's right because, you know, yeah. as, as, as Dr. Nelson has aptly stated and Brother Love, you're also stating, is that the majority of the killings that take place in the African American communities is not at the hands of law enforcement. Yep. And yes, that is the top topic. That's what mm -hmm. gets folks riled up. And yeah, there are bad apples, but there's an apple tree in the community, Bishop. Um, that is the killings uh, that's taking place at the hands of other African Americans that I think also needs to be addressed. And as Brother Love says, it's not this or that; it's this and that. So, so. Bishop